Welcome back guys. Today we are going to go through another roasting method that is using this electric roaster. This is coffee beans roaster from Amazon and this can roast up to 750 grams. That's what they claim. But ideally I think around 250 grams would be a better number. Anything more it takes a very long time and you may not get the right temperature and you may not get the right roast. I've done a similar uh, coffee roaster review and I've gone through several home roasting methods that is using the popcorn popper, the dome style and uh, the cast iron and using a relief pop which is the manual method of roasting. So I've gone through several videos related to home roasting. So if you haven't watched my videos, please do subscribe. I'll leave the link, all the links of the home roasting videos in the description below. So do watch them. Uh, that will be a very useful making decision. Um, so here is another product from Amazon and it comes with the lid. All I have to do is just assemble the the screw here for the lid that's all I did the capacity is a bit less compared to the other roaster I reviewed which is 45 degree angle and it can roast up to 800 grams the size looks a bit smaller and the control arm is different it's more flat type the other one had a raised control arm which will move the beans more effectively and as it's angled so it will take more beans up and throw it down it has a better beans movement in it this will have a more slower type movement um, so we are going to test this anyway it came with a little tool this is a timer tool which is handy for home roasting which comes with a standing clip and if you can hang it on the wall if you need Anyway, that's a handy tool. That's all it comes with. Here is a close-up of the item. This comes with a Teflon coat, which has a honeycomb pattern. Now, Teflon is not a great thing for roasting. Uh, I wish they had the stainless steel plate, but it's a food grade Teflon. And uh, it's all solid, even on the side, even the, the, the base of the control arm. This is also Teflon coated and even the control arm is steel or aluminum, one of those and the bolt is also steel. So it's all metal which is good but compared to the, the popcorn popper it comes with a food grade plastic bolt which is not recommended for coffee roasting. So this is slightly better than the other one and it comes with this on off switch and you could adjust the temperature from zero all the way to 240 degree and don't forget it's in centigrade and when you switch on the control arm will start moving um, so let's switch on and see so my temperature is at zero that means the plate won't get warmed up but the beans will be moved by the control arm and then you can increase the temperature as needed. The little timer machine, it didn't come with a battery, so I had to install a new battery. That's okay, but it works. Now, you won't believe that this is the user manual that it came with. Looks like someone has used it and put some water and that's the email address of the supplier. So either the Amazon doesn't have the QA done properly or the supplier, uh, it's not recommended. So someone used it and returned this. Anyway, it came with some suggestion, zero to eight minutes in 140 degrees centigrade, and then 18th minute, something happens and then the burst happened that is the first crack I guess uh, that's at 210 degrees centigrade which will happen in 30 minutes as per them and then you can switch off anyway that's the cleaning instruction 
here I have my weighing scale and someone recommended that these type of rosters can take only 250 grams that's the ideal number so I'm going with 250 grams today okay exactly 250 grams so let's use this beans and someone recommended me that I should warm up this machine for at least 10 minutes so that's what I'm going to do now so let me switch on crank it up all the way to 240 that's the maximum and switch on and I'll leave it for 5 to 10 minutes and then we'll come back and see and I'll close the lid so that the heat stays in so here I have all the way up to 240 and it indicates a blue light. I was hoping that this red or amber light will glow but it's not, it's completely off. And it's warming up. So let's come back. Okay, it's been a few minutes, it's been running and I could feel it's warm everywhere and I heard the thermostat making some noise. And you could see the smoke so it's really hot so um, it's time to put some beans so 250 grams goes in and I'm going to start the timer so that you can watch the time So the beans are being moved nicely. I think 250 grams is more or less right. Maybe it can go up to 300 grams from the gap I see here and there. Um, so we'll close the lid and we'll come back after a few minutes. Anyway, the, this particular lid comes with four holes. One, two, three, four. The other roster had only two holes so I'm hoping this won't fog up that easy compared to the other one the other one fogs up pretty quick now I put a towel underneath because I realized that this is getting warm. I'm using a plastic tablecloth here, so just precaution. So we are almost three minutes into the roast cycle. And as you can see, the the water vapor is building up and I see smoke and it's, it's doing a good job there's a lot of heat so we'll come back after a few minutes we are seven minutes in the cycle and I could see there's a lot of smoke coming up compared to the other machine I think this has more heat and the color of the beans looks yellowish already and some are turning into a bit brown which is a good sign so I can confirm that it's roasting well so far so good okay we are almost reaching 10 minutes mark 9 minutes 40 seconds I heard the first crack yeah I could see so I could hear another crack So as you can see it's moving the beans nicely around and I don't see any beans getting stuck on that control arm it's moving nicely because of the sound of the control arm you may not hear the the crack sound I heard two just now again so that's good almost nine minutes forty seconds mark I heard the first crack so let it go through the first crack 
stage. I'm hoping it will end in five to 10 minutes. So I'm targeting medium rows, so we'll see. Anyway, it looks very uniform and I'm happy so far. We are almost entering 15 minutes mark and this is how the beans looks like. There's a lot of smoke being generated and it's still going through the first crack. I'll take some sample. It's not uniform. There are some beans that are lightly roasted and some are almost into the brown phase. Let me take some more. Okay. Not uniform, but it's going through the first crack still. 15 minutes, 30 seconds now. I'm pretty sure you can hear the crack. It's moving the beans nicely. And as you have seen, it has expanded. It's almost filled the whole surface area. Okay, so let it continue. We are almost entering 20 minutes mark. Let's open and see, a lot of smoke. And most of the beans are brownish color 20 minutes mark this is mixed with chaff so those light brown thing that you see are chaff okay so i would say this is almost a medium roast with some chaff okay now it's looking more uniform this is mixed with chaff so those who like light roast um, it's soon considered to be done almost so it looks like the pot is full of coffee beans now and i think i'll switch off in five minutes because I like medium roast. Twenty two and a half minutes and it's looking pretty good. I think I'll switch off in twenty third minute. I think this is something I wanted. This is the stage I am looking for to switch off. So 22 minutes and 50 seconds. I got my colander everything ready. So we'll transfer. So we'll switch off at 23. Bang. So when you switch off the temperature, the arms will still rotate. You could switch off and then quickly transfer it. 23 minutes. Okay, I'll quickly cool this down and come back.
Now I like to have a look at it outdoor just to see the color properly and some of the light color that you see they are chaffs it's not gone fully but I think it did a good job it has evenly roasted it compared to the other machine where I roasted around 600 or 700 grams in one go this is just 250 grams and looks good there are one or two beans that I see are very dark I'll just pick them and throw it away for example this one maybe it's not a good bean there's one here but otherwise all of them look a more uh, medium roast and evenly done and this is how it looks indoor indoor lighting and there are one or two beans that are dark but otherwise it looks pretty good a nice medium roast that has gone through the first crack maybe all beans didn't go through I'm not sure but I heard a lot of crack so I'm guessing it has gone through the first crack as I said there are some chaffs here with the beans but they are okay and it doesn't do any harm or change in the flavor of the espresso that you make so it's okay to have some chaff I think it did a good job 23 minutes medium roast and it looks very uniform compared to the other machine where I put 600 grams of beans I put only 250 here it's recommended it can go up to 750 that's one third of its capacity that's what I put I think this is the right number if you put more than this the roast may not be uniform and it's gonna take a lot of time for example the other machine I put 600 grams though it claimed 800 it took 45 minutes to reach the same level now this this one did in 23 minutes which is impressive but the quantity is almost or less than half of what I put in the other one overall it heated up well it went through the first crack and I'm happy with the way it has roasted it looks uniform much better compared to the other roaster other electric roaster that I reviewed but I still have to do a smaller quantity on the other one that's when it will reveal the real result as you can see this is discolored uh, which is because of the coffee oils and all and I saw one bean stuck in between that control arm uh, which is okay uh, that looks burned so I'm going to throw it away but I didn't throw much beans here maybe one or two are bad or overly done it could be that it's stuck between the control arm but otherwise all of them are drinkable usable <laughs> yeah so I'm going to keep this beans for 24 hours at least uh, not in a airtight container but I'll put it in a container and then um, the following the second day I'll put it in an airtight container so this can go up to three three weeks I would guess uh, and it will stay fresh now I'm not supposed to do an extraction now but let me do a double shot extraction using this beans and then we'll have a look at it how the extraction is I'll just taste it a bit and throw it away because we are not supposed to taste it it's too early because it's still degassing and then we'll see how it is here I'm going to use my Bravel Barista Express so I'll take 18 grams of beans that's a lot 23 19 that's 18 grams
that 18 grams looks a bit little usually I fill almost full cup that looks a bit less now in case you're wondering my grind size is at four Okay, it looks medium roast. So I'm using the Breville basket and the potter filter. Yeah, definitely the grinds looks a bit less compared to 18 grams that I usually take. It seems very less. So let me level it properly before I tamp. It's better to use the WDT method, the waste method to distribute, and then we can level it using this tool. And then you could tamp it using the other side. Seems I'm not applying any pressure because the grind seems less. Um, okay, so time to do the extraction. I like to warm up the group head as well before the extraction and I'll measure the output so I have my shot glass ready before I put out now I'll tear it so that it Back to zero. Now that everything is ready, let's begin the extraction. So 18 grams in. The pressure looks at one o'clock. Look at that. So I got 45 grams out from 18 grams beans, freshly roasted beans. Now, like I said, it's supposed to rest for at least 24 hours. Four days will be idle. Um, thick rich crema. So can't wait to taste this. Now the same beans where I roasted using the other machine, uh, it generated more crema. That's my observation. This has less crema and the flow was a bit quick. I used the same grind size setting. Only thing was the other one was more a medium dark roast. This is medium roast. That's the only difference. But anyway, I'm supposed to rest these beans for at least 24 hours before drinking. So I won't be drinking this, I'll only taste it. Let's see. It is smooth. It is really good espresso. I bet it will be more sweet tomorrow or after three, four days. I'm getting a lot of flavor, the fruity notes, berry notes, and I can taste caramel and chocolate. This is really good. I think I changed my mind. I'm going to drink this. Maybe I'll make a latte. I could drink it as it is. It, it's so tasty. It's not that acidic, but I'm tasting more chocolate and caramel flavor. Nothing citric or 
any other acidic flavor, I don't taste them. Very nice. Now, I'm impressed that it did the job in 23 minutes, which is impressive. The other one took 45 minutes, which is supposed to be more quicker. The other one is 1800 watts rated, and this is 1200 watts rated. Now, the other one, I would say maybe it's only 800 watts, and this would be close to 1000. This did a pretty good job. I'm, I'm happy with it, considering that only the surface gets hot in this. Uh, compared to the hot air popper where it goes through the hot air which will be more uniform and other roasting methods that you that you see commercially it has hot air also mixed with it which will roast the beans more uniform but having said that this did a okay job i wouldn't say this is the best no definitely not uh, because you would be compromising the taste compared to other commercially roasted coffee beans and the drawback for this I would say this is Teflon cod which is not that impressive the quality of the control arm I'm not sure it's it's already a bit wobbly I don't know that's how it is designed but many people complain about that in their review I'm glad they sent this little timer, which is very handy. So I hope uh, you enjoyed today's video. And if you do, please hit that like button. I would really appreciate that. And maybe in my future video, uh, I'll be buying a more expensive roster. My eyes on Alio Bullet, the V2, uh, the R1 roster, which looks very impressive. And I'll have to raise money for it maybe some of you can help me <laughs> uh, so uh, that will be my next upgrade really uh, because there are limitations on all these home roasting methods and I want to grow in this and to be more serious about roasting proper beans and getting all the flavors out of it how to roast the beans the amount of heat the amount of air the time and you get help from the software uh, which connects to those commercial grade machines so that's what i'll be looking at so i hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you are new so see you guys next time and bye for now <laughs>